Hi guys, welcome everyone to the Deaf Town family. So guys, as in the earlier videos, we have discussed about the OPS and the other concepts of it. So in this video, we will learn a very like important and a very basic topic, which is functions in Python. Okay. So now coming guys to the very basic question, like what are the functions? So why, how we define a function? So, okay. So a function is a block of code which only runs when it is called so guys as you can understand with the this simple definition let me write it down on the screen so it will be very much easier for you okay okay guys as you can see on the screen a function is a block of code which only runs when it is called okay guys so now coming to the part guys there is a one more thing which is called as user defined function okay so now what are the user defined function so any function which is defined by the user like which we write which we create is called as a user defined function because we are defining us for an example let me write let us write a code and in the python so if we call it and use it so it will be referred as a user defined function because it, it is defined by us now guys coming to the part like how you can create a function in the python so it is very simple you just have to start with def define like it will be defined the function suppose now i am creating a function my name okay guys and you have to just give this to round bracket close and print like suppose dev town okay guys i hope that this thing is very much clear so this is how you will create a function in the python which will be, which will be referred as a user defined function now coming to the part guys like how you can call this function like how you can print anything okay so it is very simple calling a function is very simple so you just have to give at the end suppose i have the function here which is <coughs> sorry guys my underscore name and see guys now the function main my name okay so this is how you will like use it okay now if you have to print it then give this to now see guys dev town is being printed on the screen okay so, so guys it is very easy to use okay and easy to understand you just have to practice a little bit on your own compiler so everything would be very much clear guys now coming to the part guys arguments okay they you have like listened this term before also arguments okay so now coming to the point what are arguments so we have to pass the information into the function so the like this passage of information is known as the arguments arguments are specified after the function name okay I will like tell you with an example. So just focus on this definition. Okay. So arguments are specified after the function name inside the parenthesis. You can add as many arguments as you want. Just separate them with a comma. Okay, guys. You have to just separate them with a comma. Like for an example, let me show you guys here. Arguments. Let me write it down okay fine now if i define a function suppose i have a function my name and inside this i have i have f name first name okay guys and after this okay now if i print this f name okay and plus Okay, guys, till here, I think that everything is very much clear to you. Okay, and I want to add the anything in it, like suppose Jackson. Okay, fine, guys. And now I want a function. Okay, so I have given an argument here. Okay, guys, I hope that this thing is very much clear. So now if I start with my name. Okay, guys, now suppose I have a name Richard. Okay.
and uh, the other name i want suppose like anything can be there okay suppose kyle yeah kyle is name of a cricketer and the last name suppose if i have suppose david okay guys so now what if i print this now see guys now everything every name is having this last name i have given print f name first name plus this jackson so this jackson is added on the last of every name we have given the argument here okay now you can see that there is a no space between so if i want to give a space wait a second guys give space in all there so there will be a space here also space yeah fine guys now you can see that name are separated by the space okay guys i hope that this argument concepts is very much clear to you it is very easy guys you just have to give the argument here and you have to use it in your program okay and now coming to the next part okay guys and there is one more concept in it which is the number of argument so by default a function must be called with the correct number of arguments meaning that if your function expects two argument you have to call the function with two arguments not more or not less otherwise it will give you an error guys okay guys now for an example <coughs> let me like write the function here my name okay guys and the first name f name and the l name okay i hope guys till here there is no issue to you and if there is any other problem or any other confusion you are facing guys you can definitely tell me in the chat box or comment box i will definitely solve your query okay that's fine guys and the l name okay so we have a given argument here and then we are printing it statement okay and now if i print this and using like suppose the name i am using jack and smith okay now if i print this see guys now i am getting a name jack smith you can see okay but now what if the case if i will change the like number of argument if i give only one see now i am getting the error so okay as i have told you guys this thing so meaning that if your function expects two argument you have to call the function with two arguments not more not less okay so you you cannot see guys you can also see there type error my name missing one required positional argument okay i hope guys that this thing is very much clear to you now so now coming forward with the new topic which is arbitrary argument so we gave a like let me write it down on us here first arbitrary yeah fine guys okay so now why we use this arbitrary arguments if you don't know how many arguments that will be passed into your function so you just have to add this star sign here okay you can see okay, so you can you you have to just add this before the parameter name in the function definition this way the function will receive a tuple of arguments and can access the items accordingly now let me give you an example guys for example let me define function here okay now suppose we are having the same function my name and we are having in it suppose like boys guys just practice this thing in your compiler with me like on the on the real time basis you can perform this task in your compiler so it will be very much clear to you guys and suppose i have print 
smallest kid okay now i will use the plus i hope guys that till here there is no issue to you okay then the square in this you have to just put the 2 guys don't worry i will tell you i will explain you this thing okay just focus on the screen like what i am performing and suppose i have three name like jack okay guys let me add the name okay guys now as you can see that i have run this program and i am not getting an error as i have not defined the total number of arguments i am using it according to great account suppose i add one more name here for an example like add ram see guys now it is not giving me an error okay if i add one more name suppose i add dev town then also it is not giving me an error it is reading till rahul because we have giving only two so i hope guys that this concept is very much clear to you it is very easy concept guys you just have to add this star like before your argument if you have you don't have like how many arguments that will be passed into your function guys and this is very important concept you like you will be using this concept in the like later on this series very much i hope guys that this all concept is very much like clear to you how you give define a function in the python how you create an argument how you run this okay guys and like arbitrary con arguments i have also told you and there are many other function of the arguments like you can use it in the recursion also and there are many other parameters okay so i have focused on the main i hope guys that you like this video and please subscribe to our channel, Deftown.